Hi, my name is Dave Klappenberger and today we're going to talk about the bare cabinet and trim paint that you can get at the Home Depot store. The bare cabinet and trim paint that you could get at Home Depot stores, the workability of this paint is a 10 out of 10. It, it, um, you have good working time with it. It brushes easily. I liked it. I'm going to give it a. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. The the coverage of this paint kind of uh, average at best. Uh, I spoke to uh, a rep from Bear, and the rep encouraged me to if you're going to get, use the cabinet and trim paint, that have them add a couple drops of white to it and that will improve the coverage or if you really want to help improve the coverage you add a couple of drops of black you don't still it still looks very white you don't see it doesn't you can't really see that as black but the coverage improves even more so than just adding a couple drops of white it self levels really nicely the brush strokes are almost completely disappear I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10 Probably the most important quality that you want in a kitchen cabinet paint is durability. We have oils on our fingers, we have food on our hands when we open up those doors and drawers. Those oils get transferred on top of the paint and they actually start seeping their way through, at least they can, and they can break the adhesion between the primer coat and the top coats scratching off. No good. So we want to evaluate this paint to see if it holds up to the oils that are inevitably going to be on the kitchen cabinets. So what I did is I took a sample board here, I primed it with shellac primer which is the primer that we use when we paint kitchen cabinets and uh, I put three different paints. I put the Bare Scuff Defense which is a fairly new product. We put on the Bare Cabinet paint in the middle and two coats of the Dynasty. Everybody got two coats by the way. The paint cured for 28 days which is more than enough time. And then I put some, wiped some olive oil, olive, oil, olive oil on the board, let that sit for two weeks and then I want to see if it scratches off. And we'll start off down here with the scuff the fence and it sticks. This is an I don't think it's going to be coming off in weeks or months to come. It's very slick surface on here, not scratching off. The, the, uh, the cabinet grade paint, as you can see, it's very easy to scratch this off. It's so easy just to scratch that off. The oils did penetrate, the oils did break the adhesion between the primer, and uh, that's no good. The Dynasty uh, bears premium grade paint just as hard as the Scuff X. Very impressive. Is not does not feel like it's ooh, a little. I got a little bit to come off right there, but I would have to say this is holding up for very well. That was a good scrape I got in there, and it did it did get it off. Um, in conclusion, the most important thing about this video is not how well the Bear Dynasty is, but is the Bear cabinet and trim enamel good for kitchen cabinets? And based on the fact that it can't really handle the oils on top of it for a very long period of time, I have to say no. It's, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I, would, I, would, I have another video where I've tried about nine other cabinet paints. Three of them passed. Um, four of them kind of passed, but three of them definitely passed. And take a look at that and make your own decision on which one you would like to choose out of those three or four. If you found this video helpful, useful, practical, give us a like. If you want to hear our review on the Bear Dynasty, Marquee, and other Bear products and other paints in the future, subscribe and you won't miss out. And if you're interested in franchising with Clappenberger and Son, awesome. Give us a call, fill out the contact form, franchise.clappenbergerandson. Have a great rest of your day.